when you're um, on Saturday Night Live and you start dating someone famous, is there like this pressure too to keep it quiet because you don't want to be a cliche, like you don't want, oh yeah, you know, an onset romance. People start to see you, they don't even see you anymore. They just see you with Scarlett Johansson's boyfriend, you know, that can happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, that was, that was definitely a worry. Uh, um, the lucky thing was that people in the cast really liked her when she was there as a host. It wasn't like I was dating someone who was like a monster and then was around and that kind of thing. But yeah, I, I, I worried about my identity with it. I, and, 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 and also it's comedy, you know, you work in comedy. So I, I was always, always worried about anything that felt non-comedy, you know, or, or took me out of a world of comedy. And I remember even like Che and I went to the Mark Twain awards with, with uh, Chappelle when he got, when he won the Mark Twain award. And I remember it was the same weekend as there was some event in LA that Scarlett had for press for like, you know, the lead up to all her stuff for the Oscars and all that. And I remember Lauren and Che were like, come with us to the Mark Twain thing. Like, do that. And I was like, oh, yeah. All right. And I was, and it was, I, I wanted, of course, to do that, but it was nice to have your boss command you to do it. And <laughs> right. you're like, yeah, it's good. You want, you have to keep your own, you know, you have to keep your own identity and, and do your own thing. The only thing I couldn't deal with is uh, the love scenes it really is difficult to see the person you love kissing someone else, even if it is an acting situation. Yeah. I, you know, it hasn't, I don't think it's really happened uh, that I've experienced it yet since we've been dating. Adam like, Driver I, I, with, uh, with that fantastic performance. Uh, in the in one Marriage Story? Marriage Story. In marriage oh, Story. Yeah. Fantastic. But do they, I get, do they, but it's, do they kiss in it? Maybe. I don't, I don't think know they, they do. do. Maybe they don't, but, but I do. You know, even the idea of her like hanging out with Adam Driver that long on a set, shit happens on these <laughs> sets, as you know. I, I just don't like it. It's hard. It really is hard. Uh, I, know, I know. I'm going to get, I'm going to try to push her into a lot more animated stuff. Uh, <laughs> sure. Just, just all CGI. voice work. And <laughs> I, I think probably, you know, five, 10 years ago, it would have been, each of these things you're describing would have been devastating. If people want to be together and, and love each other, they're going to be together. And that's, you have to kind of like have faith in that on some level. And, and, and if not, then you're not going to be. I was thinking for you with COVID-19, just say, look, no more love scenes. I don't care. I'm not a jealous guy, but I don't want no. to. Because uh, <laughs> yeah, of COVID. It's a medical thing. On a medical level. Yeah. That's a yeah. good, that's a great loophole.